their underground workplace. There was no shortage of recruits, but coal supplies were crucial to the war effort, and miners were more useful in the pits than in the trenches. Even in wartime, labor disputes simmered on. They were still the main feature of the industry, as miners and owners faced a post-war world which would bring drastic changes in the demand for coal. The coal fields they worked in were scattered from the lowlands of Scotland, through Northumberland, Durham, Yorkshire and the Midlands, to South Wales. Their conditions were different, and they produced different types of coal. Steam coal, coking coal, house coal, anthracite. Over 1,000 separate coal companies ran 3,000 separate pits. They ranged from small family businesses to large public companies. Relations with the men differed widely. Well, we thought that the coal was very really oppressive and uh, resorted to all sorts of devices to pay as little as they could for uh, the most work. Yet, we, they were not cooperative. There was no harmony in, in the coal industry at that time. Only hostility. The degree of hostility between men and managers varied from coalfield to coalfield. But the traditional enemy was always the coal owner. <laughs> 